Devon is a long-established and well-renowned name in the motorhome world. Unusually, they use all the major base vehicles for their motorhomes and camper vans. The Discovery, built on the Ford Transit, has been a long-term player in the Devon team and now we have a new model Discovery built on the brand new Ford Transit. So, first a bit about this exciting new base vehicle, instantly recognisable by its distinctive new nose. Now it's a full-size Transit, not to be confused with the smaller Transit Connect or Transit Custom. It comes in a variety of lengths, weights and heights and can be either front wheel drive or rear wheel drive. Now this Transit here is a long wheelbase, <coughs> front wheel drive. It has the 2.2 litre engine delivering 125 bhp through a manual six speed box. Unfortunately an automatic option isn't available. The Discovery provides all the usual gizmos such as airbags, aircon, cruise control, all pretty much standard these days. But it does have some other nice features too, such as the heated windscreen and automatic lights and wipers. The steering wheel and the driver's seat are both fully adjustable, so most folks should be able to achieve the perfect driving position. The six-speed gear change is very slick and the handling a delight. So all in all we found it a great driving experience. However, what about the rest of the van? The Discovery has an L-shaped lounge and both the cab seats swivel, the drivers partially and the passengers fully, although it is a little bit high so you might need a small footstool just to prevent dangling leg syndrome. So far so good, however the quirky bit comes next. This side settee here will pivot round so it comes to rest behind the cab seats and facing backwards. Now that gives you a dinette for four people and the freestanding table sits between, obviously turned round. In that configuration these two forward-facing rear travel seats are revealed but if you're travelling of course the freestanding table needs to be popped away in its store over the cab. Storage in the lounge is very good with lots of space for bulky items such as bedding etc. Here Underneath the rear travel seat, the Truma heater sits under that side and also here underneath the side settee there's an enormous bedding box. To make the double bed you start from the dinette configuration like this and then slide the seat bases of the forward facing travel seats forwards and this cushion here slots in at the back. It isn't the simplest operation but practice will make perfect. The rear of the Discovery is the work area so we have the main kitchen unit on the near side and the washroom opposite. In between there's a large area which can be easily and usefully accessed via the back doors for storing bulky items, even bikes. Now to return to the kitchen we have stainless steel sink and a two burner gas hob and underneath a combi oven grill. Also down below we have plenty of storage in some really good sized cupboards and up above two overhead lockers. Opposite is the fridge which is a Dometic 85 litre with a removable freezer compartment. Above that the capacious wardrobe and round the corner several very useful cubbies which are accessed via the back doors. The washroom with its sensible bench toilet and fixed wash basin is light, bright and has lots of storage. The shower tray forms the whole of the floor and the basin's tap doubles as the shower head. So that's the new Devon Discovery, a traditional name on a brand new base vehicle and it can be yours from starting at around £45,000 which is very competitive given the comprehensive specification. Thank you.